Come on. You gonna let me in? You gonna let me in or no? No? No. There we go. All right, adventurers. Welcome to All Play. Uh, today, we're gonna hop back into more of the new expansion. Was it Dr. Boom's The Boom's Day Project? We're gonna do more of the single player aspect of Dr. Boom. And that is the puzzle lab. We, we've already completed, what, two wings? We've completed Lethal, and we've completed Mirror. It's time for us to move on to the next wing. We're going to start board clear. It sounds just like what the uh, what, what's on the tin, what's on the title. It sounds like we want to empty the board completely. That means I can already see a lot of death rattles with minions being played. I can see a lot of stuff. With what is it, Dreadsteed? I can already see what's gonna happen. Let's let's hop right in. You there? Why are you idling about? We have crops to grow. We have crops to grow. Let's do this. Garrosh versus Dexter. All right. So just as I expected, board clear means we want to clear the battlefield of all minions. I'm going to assume that stuff on my side, stuff on Dexter's side. I've untangled the hose, boss. All right. So on Dexter's side, we have the Bloodfin. Oh, sorry. Every single minion from the field. All right. So we have uh, the Bloodfin Raptor is a 3-2 beast. And we have the Wisp. It is a 1-1 creature uh it's very simple we have two minions in our hand that we can play and attack with this turn uh we have the rabid warrior a three three with rush rush means it can only attack minions immediately the turn that you play it and then stone toss boy one one with charge charge means you can attack anything with it this turn the turn that you play it so we'll play the stone toss boar and attack the wisp then we'll play the rabid warrior and attack the raptor. Four clear. That was fairly simple. That was so we understand what we're doing here. All right. We're on our way to a new strand of tasty psych melon. All right. Uh, the Rat Pack. It is a 2-2 two -two that says Death Rattle. Summon a number of 1-1 one -one rats equal to this minion's attack. So whatever the Rat Pack's attack is when it dies, that many creatures or minions, excuse me, are going to be put onto the battlefield. Then we have the Infested Wolf. It is a 3-3 three -three that reads Death Rattle. Summon two 1-1 one -one spiders. Okay, like I said, these guys both make tokens. They both make a lot of uh, creatures on their Death Rattle when they die. So we're going to need to get rid of both of these, and then we're going to need to get rid of the, the creatures that they create. Luckily, they're very small. They're very small. Ah, these poor saps. All right, cards in our hand. We have the Elven Archer, a 1-1 one -one with Battle Cry, deal 1 damage. Then we have Spirit Lash, which is Life Steal, deal 1 damage to all minions. Life Steal means it heals me for however much damage it deals. And then we have Holy Nova, deal 2 damage to all enemies, and restore 2 health to all friendly characters. Easy. Easy peasy. Okay, so first things first, let's play the Elven Archer and target. One shot, one kill. Target what? I say the Rotting Wolf. That's what's called Infested Wolf. Okay, so now they both have two health. This one's been damaged to two health, and this one's stored at two health. Now we can drop Holy Nova, and that's gonna wipe out uh, both the Rat Pack and the Infested Wolf, and they're gonna make a total of five creatures on their side, five one ones on their side. I'm sorry. This was a the the what was it? Where is it? I guess it's too late for me to. I guess you can see it here. The rat pack was a two two, so it's not gonna make three. It's gonna make two rats, and then the infested wolf is gonna make two spiders. I thought one of them said three for some reason. I don't know. Okay, so now we need to wipe out the board. Not only the minions on Dexter's side, but the one on my side too. Uh, life steals. I'm sorry. Spirit lash is gonna deal one damage to all minions. Board clear. Right 
All right. Even if they're our friends, they got to go. We'll need the whole field. All right. So let's see. Dexter's side. Dexter has Swamp King Dread. Uh, is a 9-9 that says, after your opponent plays a minion, attack it. I actually like Swamp Dread. He's easy. He's easy to manipulate, and that's why his cost is so low compared to his body. Whatever. Then we have on our side the Gilded Gargoyle, a 2-2 two -two that reads Death Rattle at a coin to your hand. So when this dies, we'll get a coin, which is uh, a card that gives us an extra mana. Uh, we have two copies of the Gilded Gargoyle. All right. Let's see. How can we deal with this man? Oh, cards in our hand. Sorry. We We're have... Apples, Gilnean pumpkins, Zandalari zucchini. We have two copies of the Tentacle of Nazoth. It reads... It's a 1-1 one, one that reads Death Rattle, deal one damage to all minions. Two copies of that. And then we also have the Stubborn Gastropod, which is a 1-2 with Taunt and Poisonous. Poisonous is an ability that says if this deals damage to a minion... Destroy it. Destroy any minion damage by this. Okay, so what would be the sm what what you what might think we should do is play the gastropod immediately. But if we do that, King Dread's gonna attack it, and we'll still have our two gargoyles in play, and we can't manipulate uh, the the dinosaur to attack these two. So what we can do instead is play the tentacle and the Zoth, which is gonna deal one damage to all minions. Oh. He's going to attack, so he takes one, and then everything takes one. And then if we do it again with the tentacle and the Zoth, he's going to attack it again. He's going to take one damage, and then everything is going to take one damage. Both of these boys are going to die, and that's going to give us two coins. All right. So our two coins are going to help us pay for the stubborn gastropod because we are actually out of mana. He's going to be played. He has to attack him. Poisonous is going to take him out. Even though he still has health left, board's clear. All right. Uh, on Dexter's side of the board, we have the Harvest Golem. It is a 2-3 that reads Death Rattle. Summon a 2-1 damaged Golem. Okay, so when this one dies, he's going to get a 2-1 uh, minion in play. We also have a Harvest Golem. Same thing. 2-3 Death Rattle. Summon a 2-1 Damage Golem. In our hand, we have Backstab, a spell that says deal 2 damage to an undamaged minion. Then we have uh, Sap, return an enemy minion to a, your opponent's hand. And then we have Eviscerate, deal 2 damage unless you played another spell this turn, in which case deal 4 damage instead. All right, uh, we're rogue, so our hero power is to equip a one-two dagger. That might be something we can use. Let's see. Uh, uh, my mouth is watering just at the thought. Let's see what we could do. Let's see. Sap only works on the enemy minion, so if we play Sap, it's gonna have to be on this guy or the the minion it creates. And then we can use Eviscerate to deal four damage to our Golem. And then it's going to make a 2-1 Golem. And then we can hit that with Backstab. Sound like a plan? Sap is great for those sticky minions. The game didn't say we had to destroy all the minions. It said we had to clear the board. So we're playing around the rules today. And then we hit this one here with that good old backstab. Board's clear. Okay, I like that. We don't have to destroy everything. We need to clear the board. Some of your minions can attack right away. Make good use of them. All right, Dexter side of the board. He has Sogoth the Slitherer. It is a nine. I'm sorry, a five nine with taunt, and it can't be targeted by spells or hero power. So if I'm gonna get rid of this, I'm gonna attack into it. Our side of the board, we have Stone Tusk Boar. It is a one one with charge. 
We actually have two copies of that. And then we have the Frothing Berserker. It's a 2-4 that reads whenever a minion takes damage, gain one attack or gain plus one attack. Okay. So let's see. Uh, cards in hand. We have Bash, which says deal three damage, gain three armor. And we have Shield Slam, which says deal one damage to a minion for each armor you have. Where warriors, so our our hero power is gain two armor. So it seems I could either use my hero ability and use shield slam, or I could use bash, but I can't use both. Okay, uh, I think we want to attack uh, Sogoth with both of the boars. So that's going to be two damage to Sogoth. And uh, the frothing berserker is going to gain four attack. Because this will take damage, this will take damage, and then this will take damage, and this will take damage. That's four times. So this will be at six. This will be at six while... What? This will be at six while this has Ten seven health. Golden grapes. Oh, oh, and stranglethorn bananas. So really, what we could do is we could do either or. We could either use our hero ability and use Shield Slam on the Frothing Berserker. It's only going to take him down to two health, which is okay. Or we could use Bash on our Frothing Berserker. It's only it's going to take him down to one health, and that's okay. Either or works. I'm with it. One damage to a minion for each armor you have. Yeah, I'm with it. Let's do this first. And then this. Deal three damage, game three armor. I like three armor. Let's do that. So he's at seven now. I strike. And there it is. And it would have worked the same way had we used our hero power and then shield slam. The board would be clear. All right. We got a good mix of things. Okay, Dexter's side of the board, from left to right, we have the Bloodfin Raptor, it's a 3-2 beast. We have the River Crocolisk, it is a 2-3 uh, two, beast. We have the Chill Wind Yeti, it is a 4-5. We have Toxic Slewer, uh, excuse me, Toxic Sewer Ooze, Ooze, can't talk today. It is a 4-3 that reads, Battle Cry, remove one durability from your opponent's weapon. And then we have the uh, the Murloc Tiny Fin, which is a 1-1. One, one. Our side of the board, we have the Steam Weedle Sniper, a 2-3 that reads your hero power can target minions. We're hunters, so normally our hero power can only be used uh, against the enemy hero. As soon as we press the button, it's going to deal two damage to the enemy hero. But with Steam Weedle Sniper out, we can use our hero ability. We can use our hero ability wherever we want. Uh, cards in hand. We have explosive shot. It says deal five damage to a minion and two damage to adjacent ones. And then we have, uh, Wolf Rider, a 3-1 with charge. It seems like we can use all the cards in our hand and our hero ability, as well as attack with Steam Wheel Sniper. We have the mana for it all. Okay. So, explosive shot. We're clearly going to need to use that targeting the Yeti. But we need to use it at the right time. We need to use it in a way that the two damage is going to take out. Uh, take out. What am I trying to say? Take out one of the minions. And it seems like the two damage to adjacent ones means we need to find a way to get the Bloodfin Raptor. Berries, I'm grapes. talking here. Oh, oh, and stranglethorn bananas. Since this is going to deal two damage to, uh, beside whatever we target, we're going to need to find a way to get the Bloodfin Raptor and Tiny Finn Murloc, or Murloc Tiny Finn, right beside the Yeti. All right, let's get to work. Maybe not. Wait a second. Maybe not. Okay, we said we're using an explosive shot here, so the Yeti's gone. We can count the Yeti as dead. If we play Wolf Rider... We play Wolf Rider. Now, let's say we use our ability to take out the Bloodfin Raptor. Since we used our ability, we don't have to worry about keeping Steam Weedle alive anymore. 
So Steam Weedle can attack the Crocolisk, bringing him in range for the explosive shot. Then we can have the Wolf Rider attack the Toxic Sewer Ooze. Those two will die. Oh, no. I need I need this to die, too, don't I? Okay, so instead of having Steam Weedle attack the Crocolisk, we'll have Steam Weedle attack the Toxic Sewer Ooze. So this will die. We've already used our ability, so it doesn't matter. Am I doing that right? I don't think I'm doing that right. Hang on. If I use this here, he's dead. He's within range for the shot. If we go here. Uh-oh. If we go here, these two die. This is this is now going to get hit by the shot, and it'll die. Then I just need to kill that. Okay, got it. We attack here with Steam Weedle. Attack here with Wolf Rider. And then we can hit either one of these two with our shot, with our steady shot, our hero power. Oh, I did it out of order. I did it out of order. I did it out of order. <laughs> I even said that's the first thing I need to do. Or I, I need to do that. Think of all the delicious fruit we can grow. I even said I need to do that before I attack. Okay, let's take that back. So deal two damage here. Now we can attack. We'll use Wolf Rider here. And now when we use Explosive Shot targeting the Yeti, it's going to take out all three. Five here and two to a side. Board's clear. And we'll count that as me as me goofing it. Even though I said it, we'll count that as me goofing. Oh, boy. One of my favorite minions. Some of these minions really like to stick around. Free Lotus. All right. Let's do it. Uh, Dexter's side of the board. From left to right, we have the Murloc Tiny Fin, a 1 1. We have the Bluff and Raptor, a 3 2. We have the Dire Mole, a 1 3. We have Spider Tank, a 3 4. We have Chill Wind Yeti, a 4 5. We have Pit Fighter, a 5 6. And the big boy, we have Deathwing, a 12 12 that reads Battle Cry, destroy all other minions, and discard your hand. How lovely. They scale all the way to the big one. Uh, our side of the board, we have the Wild Pyromancer. After you cast a spell, deal one damage to all minions. We have two copies of that. And then our hand, we have Flash Heal, Restore 5 Health. Ooh, I'm talking here, bro. We have Yikes. Holy Smite. Oh, we have three copies of Holy Smite. Deal two damage. And then we have one copy of Power Word Shield. Give a minion tw uh, two health. Draw a card. Uh, we're priests. So our hero ability is to heal, restore two health. Uh, and we have no cards in our deck. Uh, clearly, we're going to need to start. Clearly, we're going to need to start with Power Word Shield. There's no other way about it. Because if we play anything else, both the Pyromancers are going to kill each other. And then we have no way to take out anything on the on the other side of the board. So we're going to need to hit. Excuse me. We're going to need to hit one of our pyro, uh, wild pyromancers with power word, power word shield. The other one's gonna die, but I mean, there's nothing we can do about that. We're gonna draw a card. Fatigue, since there's nothing in our deck. All right. So we've taken out what two minions so far? Yeah, we take it out two so far. Our next spell's gonna kill the dire mole. I think what I want to do is drop Holy Smite on Big Boy over here. And then I want to flash heal. Don't want to flash heal? I don't think I want to flash. I think I want to use my hero power first. Oh, yeah, yeah. I want to use. Uh, does it matter? I think it might not matter in the end. Uh, let's let's do it this way. We we'll use our hero ability, and then we'll drop Holy Smite on Big Boy again. Now the tank's gonna die. Then we can drop Holy Smite on Big Boy once more, and the Yeti's gonna die. And now our next spell is gonna be to heal us, and then they'll both die. What? Oh no! We saw the Pyromancer. <laughs> What was it I was supposed to play? Maybe I wasn't supposed to use my hero ability. Don't feel too droopy. I've got 
you back. Maybe I wasn't supposed to use my hero ability. Let's let's uh let's use power word shield again. We're gonna draw a card, fatigue for one, deal two damage all the way around. Then we play holy smite on big boy. Let's use f uh, flash heal on us. Yeah, that's what it was. I wasn't supposed to use the hero ability. Or maybe I was supposed to use a uh, flash heal on me instead. That's a that's a way I could have used it. I could have used flash heal on me. Because what was his health at? His health was at 3-3-4. Three, three, Plus 2. Or 3-3, three, three, something like that. That means... That means I wasn't supposed to heal him. I was supposed to heal me. Dang it, I goofed again. Maybe that was it. That, maybe that's the only answer. I was supposed to flash heal him. I'm sorry. Let's give it another go. I was supposed to lesser heal him and flash heal me. Let's let's try that. Let's fly through this. Because this is only going to heal for two, but flash heal is going to heal for three completely, all the way up to three, four. Let's see if this works. And the next one. Yeah, that's the way it's supposed to go. Flash heal me. Why did I take damage? Did I just take damage? Did I start with 29 health? The one time I don't announce my health or I don't announce stuff is when it matters. Great goopily floopily. How are we going to remove those? All right. Dexter's side of the board, he has two copies of the Hoarding Dragon. It's a 5-6 that reads Death Rattle. Give your opponent two coins. So when both dragons die, I'm going to get a total of four coins. And then there's also Deathwing. The 12-12 with battle cry, destroy all other minions and discard your hand. My side of the board, we have the Spiteful Smith. A It says, I'm sorry, it's a 4-6 that says your weapon has plus two attack while this is damaged. Cool. Uh, our hand from left to right, we have Backstab. Deal two damage to an undamaged minion. Preparation, the next spell you cast this turn costs four less. Deadly Poison, give your weapon plus two attack. Ah, these poor sad. Uh, eviscerate, deal two damage unless you played another card this turn, in which case deal four instead. Two copies of that. And then we have the tux Toxicologist, uh, battle, uh, two two, a battle cry, give your weapon plus one attack. And then Blade Fury, destroy your weapon and deal its damage to all enemy minions. Okay. So we're going to need to focus on putting damage on our boy, but not killing him. And then killing him after both of these are dead. Or all three of these are dead. Excuse me. Okay, let's get started. First, we need a weapon. Very clearly, uh, we're rogue. Our hero power is equip a, a one-two dagger. And we need a weapon. There's no weapon in our hand. Okay. Next up, let's see. I think I want to use preparation on Blade Fury. So I can maximize saving my mana. I only have four mana left. Let's use Deadly Poison to give myself or get my weapon plus two attack. Next we can use the toxicologist and we only have one mana left. I think that's okay. A clever concoction. So our weapon is now at four attack. If I play uh, preparation for blade fury, I'm out of mana. Uh, let's see. I can use backstab here on this guy. He's going to make my weapon even better. Backstab's going to deal two damage to him. And in turn, he's going to give me plus two attack on my weapon. So my weapon now deals six damage. I can then attack Deathwing to put him at six health. Now, if I destroy my weapon, I'm going to deal six damage to all the enemy minions, which is exactly what I want in life. So let's go ahead and play preparation. And then Blade Fury. Those three die. I gain four coins because of both the Hoarding Dragons. And now I can kill my two minions. Here's a coin. Another. Here's four damage to you. 
and then two more coins. Here's four damage to you. Everybody's happy. Cause the board is clear. Excellent. Soon we shall see the fruits of our efforts. Dope. All right. I'm with it. Board clear is fun. I know they're going to turn up the heat. I know it's going to get a lot more challenging. I'm not even I'm not even worried. I know they're going to go to war with me. All right. Looks like we've unlocked the next part of board clear. We'll take that on next time. If you guys enjoyed this video and would love to see more, then all you have to do is hit that red button below this video. And that's the subscribe button and turn on notifications. That way you get notified whenever we go live on the channel with a video or whenever I do something special like Dr. Booms, the Booms Day Project Puzzle Lab. Thank you guys for checking this out and I'll catch you later with more here on Altplay. I, I, I enjoy, I enjoy board clear.